Solving one-step inequalities by multiplying or dividing part two. Solve one-half x greater than or equal to negative three. To isolate the variable x, I need to multiply the reciprocal of one-half, which is two over one on both sides. So I can write two over one times one-half x greater than or equal to negative three times 2 over 1. I leave the sign alone because I'm not multiplying or dividing by a negative number. These turn into 1, so I'm left with x is greater than or equal to negative 3 times 2 is negative 6 over 1, which is 6. I want to solve negative 3 is greater than or equal to g over negative 7. I want to isolate the variable g by multiplying by the reciprocal of 1 over 7. <clears throat> so I would write g, excuse me, <laughs> g over negative 7 times 7 <clears throat> and negative 3 times negative 7. And now because I'm multiplying multiplying both sides by a negative number, I need to change the direction of the inequality. Negative 7 over negative 7 is just 1, so I'm left with g on the right side. is greater than or equal to negative 7 times negative 3 is positive 21. We want to write an inequality, then solve. <coughs> A number b divided by 4 is greater than or equal to 3. So I start by a number b divided by 4 is greater than or equal to 3. All right, now that we've written an inequality, we now need to solve it. So to isolate this variable b, I need to multiply both sides by 4. So I write b over 4 times 4 on the left. We don't change the direction of the sign because <clears throat> we're not multiplying by a negative number. And we write times 4 on the right side. 4 over 4 becomes 1, so I'm just left with b on the left is greater than or equal to 3 times 4 is 12. And that's our answer.